Hey guys, in today's video I'll show you how to add an animated glowing line around any object using DaVinci Resolve. Let's get started. Once you've got your clip in the timeline, head over to the Fusion page. I want to animate around this specific area, so first I'll open the search tool by pressing Ctrl plus space, then type in Planar Tracker and click Add. Navigate to the Inspector panel and click Set to define zero as the reference point. You can select any reference point depending on where you wish to begin. With the planar tracker selected, draw a mask around the area you want to track. Precision isn't necessary, as the mask is only for tracking the portion. Once the mask is drawn, go to the tracking section and click Track to End. DaVinci will automatically track the motion. You can click the stop button anytime to end the tracking. Once that's done, select Create Planar Transform. You will now see a planar transform node here. You can now delete the planar tracker. Now connect the output of the planar transform node to the input of the median in node to create a merge node. Next, bring in the background node and connect it to the planar transform. Now I'll just make some room for the other nodes. If the background isn't covering the video, open the search tool, add a transform node. Now with the transform node selected, increase the size in the inspector panel to cover up the space. Now let's go to the background node and set your desired color in the inspector panel. I'll set mine to blue. Next, add a B spline node to draw the mask, then connect it to the background node. If you notice that the planar transform is displaying errors in red, to fix this, navigate to the background node and in the inspector panel under image options, set the process mode to NTSC fields. Now you should be able to see the image to draw the mask. Now I'll zoom in and carefully draw a mask around this portion. Make sure to select the B spline node to draw the mask. Take your time with this step as accuracy is crucial. Any mistakes here can affect the animation, causing it to look unnatural or out of sync. The better the mask, the smoother the final result will be. Once you've completed the masking, go to the inspector panel and disable the solid button. This will bring your video back to its original state. After that, navigate to the border width parameter and adjust the value according to your preference. I'll set mine to 0 0.005. Next, make sure you're on the first frame of your video. Set a keyframe for both the position and length parameters, then set their values to zero. The position parameter controls how many times the animation moves around the path. Next, drag the playhead forward in the timeline to the point where you want the animation to end, and set the position value to three and the length value to one. Now, if you play the timeline, you'll see the animation in action. Now, I'll add a glow effect to the animation. Select the background node, open the search tool, type soft glow, and click add. Now I'll slightly increase the threshold and reduce the gain to achieve a more balanced glow effect. I'm going to zoom out to view the entire node structure more clearly. Next, I'm going to add a fast noise node. Just grab it from the search tool. Now let's disconnect the B spline node. Connect it to the fast noise node, and then link the fast noise back into the node tree. I'll quickly adjust these nodes. I'm going to add another soft glow node right after the fast noise as well. With the fast noise node selected, go to the inspector panel and adjust the detail, brightness, and contrast. Feel free to tweak the parameters to get the look you want. Also, reduce the gain on the second soft glow node for a more subtle effect. And that's it. Head over to the edit page to preview the final result. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more, and don't forget to tap the bell.